Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more My Hero Academia, you guys. I think we are in for quite a fight today. It looked like we were leaving off to do like a spinner centric kind of episode. That's kind of what they were teasing, I feel like, at the end of last episode. I think that should be really interesting. He's definitely someone we... I was very curious when we heard like a little bit more about him a while back, but like we haven't really touched base with that. Um, there is a lot to say about the previous episode. Um, it was a very, it was a very, very good one. Very action packed. Uh, I will briefly get into it. Before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome people. Hey, trends. Thank you so very much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you are joining me on the YouTubes, I really hope you'll hit like. Also, subscribe for me. It does help me and my channel a whole lot. So thank you in advance for that. Um, yeah, guys, we had a really, really great looking, feeling, sounding, everything fight last time or kind of beginning of a fight. Um, I love, I'm just like seeing Izuku and, and like, I don't know, like we know, we know we've watched him power up like this whole time, but there's something about just like seeing him put it all together. It was very, very, very like satisfying, very like awe inspiring. Um, I'm very proud of him. And he was just in there just like switching out the different. And I love the idea too, that like at the end of the day, like a quirk is kind of personal. You know what I mean? Like even if your ability is to use these other quirks, inevitably you are going to have your own kind of spin on it that makes it your own, that powers it up, that gives it something totally different than what it used to be. And I think that's actually really, really cool. And I'm glad that we touched on that. So you pointed out that like when they were showing um, our, well, I think he's the second, is he the second? And they were showing him in the flashback with, um, with All For One, how like there were actual like tears and everything. So like, what was that story? You know, just kind of beg a little bit more of like an explanation since that's like not something we see all the time but um I I really don't know and I'm sure we'll get there I'm sure it's I'm sure if they showed it we'll we'll get there um but yeah just the whole thing was so well done and just uh you guys have pointed out how like you know we have Shigaraki saying to um to Izuku how like kind of sort of putting like um a uh, little bit of like oh Sort of like you're not taking, you're putting blame, you're doing this, you're doing that. And by the end of the episode, <laughs> we have all for one, like, doing exactly that. And just, like, putting blame and being like, so, yeah, I had to I had to laugh. I'm like, oh, my God, you guys are so right. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to point out was, and some of you pointed this out to me. Some of you were not so happy with me about it. Apologies. But when Nana sees, like, one of the hands coming out of Shigaraki... And she's like, it, she visibly can see something. And she kind of like, tell, like tells Izuku like, hey, there's something going on here. Um, that was her son, Shigaraki's father. That was, a, I thought she just saw like him in there, like Shigaraki or some iteration of him. Um, I wasn't really like looking very closely at all the features to be like, is that him as a little boy? I just like, I just assumed, you know, since that's kind of what we've been teasing this whole time is that there is something left in there. And you guys were like, um, no, that's not him clearly. So I'm like, okay, sorry. Um, but yeah, so we see something in there apparently that means he's not that far gone yet. However, we know this is going to be Zuku's moment to have to figure out like, can I help him or do I just have to take him down? And they did reiterate that last time. So we got a lot going on, you guys. Um, we still haven't touched base on the whole Bakugo thing. Um, it looked like there was a procedure with Ed shot underway in the last episode, but we really don't have any updates on that. Um, 
Really, really great episode for Izuku. Just really great episode in general. They did such a good job on like the visuals, just like the design, the sound effects, all the effects. Just was so good. They executed it very, very well. Um, yeah, so again, it looks like we're going to be getting kind of like a spinner episode now in this next one. Spinner Shoji. It's called Together with Shoji. So I think that should be interesting. Um, like I said, we haven't really done a whole lot with them in like a little bit of bit of time so um i'm excited for it without further ado what do you say we go ahead and we jump right into the next episode of my hero academia let's do this oh no i see where this is going uh, uh. And okay. <sighs> right. We know they're out there. Well, that's a while. That's a lot. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, that, okay. 200 against 15,000 is. That's. Yeah. Whoa! Oh God! Oh, ha! Huh. Oh! Oh yay! Thank you! Take a while, guys. It's because they've. Ooh. Yeah, they got organized. I'm guessing because of the whole paranormal. Oh! my god because i was gonna say like when i can't you see the like oh my lord well this is how they got organized that's so sad because they are mistreated be they are mistreated because of that oh that's a lot of blood And you know what? Like, the sad part is, like, there absolutely was. <sighs> the thing is, you gotta see actual change, too. You know what I mean? Aww. Spinner is the spokesperson, yeah. Yeah, we just, we got real jacked up. Real jacked up. Oh, see, that's not a good thing. Uh, wow. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. So the thing is, I feel like, I feel like, as he always does, all for one is just, like, cashing in on things that are already a problem for, like, his own, uh, agenda. Oh! That is true. That is true. Hmm. Yeah, what is the plan? What is the ultimate goal? How is this? Mm. Yeah, I actually did a little bit of damage. The thing is, Spinner kind of felt like he didn't exactly have a plan. He was just kind of, like I said, I think All for One was just exploiting this. Like, he's not trying to help. This is an actual problem, but he's not trying to help. He's just exploiting it. Oh, Sp Spinner doesn't look, Spinner doesn't look all right. Spinner doesn't look okay. Uh oh, yeah, see that's what, whatever power he got is doing something to him too. Oh, he's, whoa, whoa, what do you mean, who cares? 
And we're gonna go in and try to do damage control. Oh, you really need to think about what you're doing here, though. This is not going to help the cause. Body bulk. Use what? Oh, no. Oh, so this is going to kill Spinner. He didn't care that he's killing Spinner to do this. Scale mail. Oh, so wait, were we kind of making friends? Whoa. Oh my god, okay, you know what? You don't even you don't even look like you don't even look like you anymore. Like what happened to you? What'd you do? I feel like their actual interest isn't really being taken to heart here. Because things should change for heteromorphs, but I don't feel like this is the way. Oh <laughs> just stripping a little bit there, babe. Wow. He, he grew up in an area where it really happens. Yeah. Oh, that, that is so wrong. Minetta. Minetta, this this is why we think before we speak there, hun. I see. Wow, okay. Not to, to hide it, but because, wow, you are for real. But you know what? He, he never gave in hate either. I'm proud of him for that. And he could have. Oh my god, he went and saved somebody after that. Oh. He could have really given in to hate. And he, you know what? Part, he would have had plenty of justification for feeling that way. No, it's not going to be an overnight thing. It's not. He wants to make things better. He wants to contribute to an actual solution. You know why? <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're making a real good case for being coolest hero right now. Dang, I need tissue. <laughs> right. Exactly. Oh, that's where we've always seen evidence of this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're getting people thinking. You know what? No, it should. It shouldn't. We shouldn't forget. We shouldn't forget. But this isn't... Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh my god! You're powered up, love! Oh, yeah, and you just said gross. That's kind of, that's kind of wrong. Yeah, you know what? He's like always stepped up. He he requested to be there. I love it. Oh, he has truly dedicated himself to changing the world. 
you can see that. You can see how this new generation is. Aww. <laughs> but you know what? They've had good mentors too. You've been guiding them. Oh, oh, so cute. Oh, oh my God, he's so cute. dad was oh oh <laughs> and they fell in love oh see that's what we should be doing we should be defending each other protecting each other oh my god Hitchcock is that is that like the birds wow Oh my gosh, can you see like people we don't usually see in action just can't. Wow. Oh my god. He's saying we have, we, have, oh my god, no freaking way. Oh my god, he should be a leader. Oh. Right. Exactly. Don't don't lose sight of everything important to you because there's more than just revenge. Oh, I know. I know. I'm Uh, uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Whoa. Oh, he just powered up even more. But look at what his anger is. Oh, my God. Look at what his anger has turned him into, though. He doesn't even look like him anymore. Oh, guys. That was so good. That one was so sad, honestly. There's so much to be just sad and angry about in that one. I'm angry that... So many people on both sides were mistreated, you know, whether you were somebody who ended up aligning with the heroes or with the liberation. None of what happened to them was okay. None of it was right. And it's so true, too, that, like, you know, different areas, it's, it's different in different areas, too, and everything, because, like, that was a really good point that Shoji made. That, like, in the cities where, you know, people are not being raised to think this certain way or, or hate or discriminate or anything like yeah it is better you know but like you don't realize like there is like a world outside of like your circle and people you know people where you live and things like that and it's just depending on where you're at it can be so bad and again like it's not lost on me that this is pretty much you know a, a very very big metaphor for like real life discrimination of all kinds. Um, I'm like, some people are awesome about it and don't want things to go on like that at all. But the thing is like, how do you change the world? How do you change so many hearts when people are like still um, being raised, being taught just hateful things and to have that in their hearts and to see the world that way? It's very, very difficult. Um, I do love the difference in approach because both of them were hurt so badly. And this kind of goes back to like, you know, we had this with Bakugo and Shigaraki too, you know, like people who have been through trauma and everything. And um, Bakugo was like, yeah, but I went and did this with it and you went and did this with it. And I think this is a good example of like, what they endured was horrible. Both of them, Spinner and Shoji. And like I said, people on both sides. Like, regardless of where you ended up, none of it was okay. None of it was all right. What happened to them? But I feel like, as I was saying during the, the theme, if such a major uh, overarching theme of this show has been preparing for the future, making way for the future, you know, like new generations, um, and how, how are, how are we leaving the world, 
You know, what kind of mark are we leaving on the world? What are we paving the way for? You know, you see a lot of the adult heroes starting to say that. And that even in this one, we got a lot of like recognition for like this new generation. They're already like, <laughs> they're already like doing better than we were. Because we, because there are people who, ha who have been actively trying to help the up and coming generation. And then there are people who are trying to just like destroy the future, like all for one. And honestly, I just feel that all for one coming in and fanning these flames, clearly he is just trying to make a future where there is no future. Like he's already said that he wants to, he doesn't want to help heteromorphs. He's not trying to like, he's, he's using that existing problem to his own uh agenda you know he's using that to push what he, he doesn't care about helping anybody and if a, such a big aspect of the show is like how will we make the future better how will we undo the bad things that are being done how will we um set precedents for hope and peace and love and unity and then, like, this is a really good example of, like, honestly, I don't think any of the, the people there are not justified in how they feel. I think they are perfectly well within their rights to be angry. If it were me, I think I'd want to go and, you know, do the same. The, the thing is, how does that impact the future, you know? How are, how are you... Um, making this situation better for like your children and for future generations does it and i think that's a big part of like what we we're asking here and i'm just i'm so proud of shoji like for somebody that we don't get to see that often same with like anima and everything like i just i i love getting to see little snippets of like people's past and their motivations and everything on a show with so many characters it's so hard to like a really um, I, say, I think it's easy to like fall between the cracks and everything and I gotta say like so many of the kids in the class they've just made such a point of like giving them really great like personalities motivations even with like a short amount of time to do it and honestly like I could see people starting to listen to Shoji you know I think they know like deep down like that does make sense um, the problem is when you, when you have someone like kind of like fanning the flames, flames like that and just leading people, people based on nothing but anger, that's not a good thing. That's not that, that's not, how will change come about from that? You know what I mean? It's the, I think the big question that a lot of people are asking themselves here. So that was a that was a really Sam just him saving the girl and then like I couldn't tell if the girl was trying to say like well I think did she like feel bad that she had made him kind of like uh, manifest his I don't know I couldn't quite tell but like that just to think that like after being brutally attacked like that he would go and help a girl who was not hetero heteromorph. <laughs> I don't know, what do they, what do they call, like, the people who are, I, I don't know the term that they're using on the show for people who, um, aren't heteromorphs. <sighs> and then, Anima and his, his mom saying that, like, the dad went in and defended her, and the dad was clearly, like, not a heteromorph, and, like, the two of them got together, and, like, it's, uh, that's beautiful that, like, love could transcend their differences and everything. <sighs> I just love that. I just love it. And, and here we have an actual example of, like, they were, they were themselves attacking a heteromorph. And he got up in there to be like, I will not stand for this. I will not stand for, my, for somebody attacking somebody I love, you know? So it's like what we end up having is like somebody trying to hurt a heteromorph anyway. <laughs> and like, it's just uh, the irony, you know. I wish they could work together. I really do. I think it does need to change. But uh, maybe a 
maybe everyone there learned something that day. I don't know. I know what's going to happen with Spinner. I feel bad about Spinner because I, I, when we got to see little bits and pieces of Spinner and everything, I never, like, disliked him a lot. I, he was always one of the, like, villains that I always kind of felt like, this is, like, a solid dude here. Like, I could get behind him under the right circumstances. And that kind of goes for a lot of, like, the people in the league and everything. It's, like, there's so many of them that were very layered characters um but yeah I mean I think there's there's got to be like a little bit of subtext in the the fact that like in doing this he has become someone that none of us can even recognize and he probably wouldn't even recognize like it's got to be a little bit of like kind of poetic sort of like nudge nudge in that for real um all right, you guys, that was a really good one. That was sad. That was powerful. Um, that was a lot. It really was. I'm glad that we touched base with, like, what was going on during that whole fight. We've kind of been, like, mostly... I mean, obviously, we've been focusing a few episodes on the whole, like, Bakugo death, Izuku return. Um, and, you know, understandably so. But it was nice to get to see, like, characters we don't see a lot either, like Shoji and Anima and everything. Um, oh my god, Mineta. Mineta, this is why you don't just, you just, if, nine times out of ten, just don't say what you're thinking. Just don't, just save us all, and don't just be blurting things out. Because most of the time, any line from you, Mineta, is usually something pretty offensive. <laughs> but I like that at least he, like, he did, he, he didn't, he didn't want to hurt anyone. He didn't want, his heart, I guess, is kind of in the right place, so. All right, guys, that was so good. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next and how we're going to resolve this and, like, where we're going to land on everything. Um, yeah, this was, uh, I think, episode 13, so, like, I know we've got, like, we're more than halfway through, I believe, so. All right. Hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please, for the love of God. I don't think I have not cried during one episode of this season. I'm definitely going to need your help next time for whatever is going down next. Please be sure to join me next time, and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.